They're a magnificent fish, you know, they're very peaceful to watch in the water. They just kind of glide, you know, minimal activity. They've got everything tuned, you know, to what they need to do. If they, if they need to, to escape, of course, there's another response, but a lot of the time is just spent cruising around under the ice. And they can be quite shallow. Sometimes they go down, probably uh, more often than not, you know, bottom grubbing a bit. There's been a reasonable amount of data that's gathered on some aspects. We know that they're relatively slow growing. Their breeding age, it's actually all this data has been shifting as we accumulate more knowledge. That in itself shows you a consequence of not having good knowledge. Uh, so we used to think they breed you know, very, very late. We now know that we can drop that down a bit around a decade or so, for, depending on the, on the gender of the fish. We know they can reach tremendous uh, size. I mean, we're talking about fish that might get up to like two metres. Just with rudimentary knowledge, you know, you can you know what the likely impacts of taking uh, a top uh, predator out. In this case, the, you know, the toothfish out of the Ross Sea. You can see it downstream, you can see it upstream, uh, and again, uh, all this is going to lead to, to problems.